So I guess some advice for Final Fantasy players that may think about trying World of Warcraft, especially now that you have raiders from Final Fantasy sort of trying out World of Warcraft and wanting to see what it's like. I want to give you guys a little bit, just like a, a, a pointers, like a couple of pointers to, to help you navigate the world. So first and foremost, um, all that nice stuff, you know, that hello that you say to everyone in the dungeons, you're helping each other out and someone doesn't know how to heal, you're explaining to them how to heal. Yeah, that's not there. Not in World of Warcraft. In World of Warcraft, if you don't know how to play your class, uh, you're kicked. First, you'll be abused a little and then you'll be kicked. This is considered uh, helpful by the uh, general community. Uh, if this does happen to you, feel uh, you don't even need to feel offended because this just makes you part of the, the sort of larger community of World of Warcraft. Um, in World of Warcraft also, it's not uncommon to run the entire game without seeing a single person uh, playing the game alongside you. This, of course, is down to a system called sharding, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, there are other people playing, but they have their own shards that they're playing on. Uh, so you guys don't have to deal with each other. Because, you know, who wants to play an MMO? Um, so uh, there, there's a couple of other things that I guess you should know, but I don't want to put you off playing World of Warcraft too much. Uh, but if we were to sort of go into the things that you should know, World of Warcraft is not about your creative uh, expression. If you were thinking, oh my god, I'm going to go play WoW, and I'm going to make my own build, and I'm going to have my own gear, no, 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 no. There's a couple of websites that you have to know about. First and foremost, it would be all of the class discords. You want to be on the class discord for your class, so that you can have the most optimal build. This would be referred to as the cookie cutter build. Just because you have talents in World of Warcraft doesn't mean they actually matter. In this sense, World of Warcraft is basically the same as Final Fantasy. In Final Fantasy, you don't have talents, so there is only one way to build the class. In World of Warcraft, you do have talents, but since there's only one way to build the class, you may as well not have talents. So the talents is basically considered set and forget, right? That's basically all you have to worry about. Get the build for you, and you're well on your way to playing World of Warcraft with the pros. Uh, you also want to get a website, uh, you know, just get a website, uh, download the tools for it called Ask Mr. Robot. Now, what Ask Mr. Robot will do for you is it will basically take all of the confusing bullshit around the gear in World of Warcraft, because yes, it is confusing, and it will dumb it down for you to the point where it's going to tell you what pieces of gear you have in your bag that is the best pieces of gear to have equipped, and then also what gems you need to have in that gear in order to play. So really, it's more like a spreadsheet player. Uh, like, we, we play spreadsheets in World of Warcraft. Not so much, you don't really need to play the game or understand anything. You just get Ask Mr. Robot, it's going to take care of most of your issues. Um, Add-ons. Add-ons is a really big thing. In Final Fantasy, you might not be aware of a lot of add-ons, right? Uh, you guys usually use something like Reshade and then you're done. Because why else would you, what, what else would you possibly need? Oh, you sweet chummer child. Uh, you do not know. Uh, so in World of Warcraft, you want to go to... Uh, the these days, I'm a little bit out of the loop, but I believe there's a site called Overwolf that has all of the add-ons, and when I say all of the add-ons, I do mean thousands of add-ons. You're going to play, on average, with about 20 to 25 add-ons uh, in your game. You want to have a damage meter, you want to have weak auras, you want to have some kind of boss mod. You're probably going to want some kind of UI mods, because unlike in Final Fantasy, you can't actually move stuff around in the UI. No, 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 no. Stuff is moved through the add-ons, right? It can, but only the add-ons can. So you want to get yourself an add-on, maybe something out of UI, works really well. Bowhinge, thanks for the tier 1 sub, did really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the most degenerate chat on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, once you have all of your add-ons, now that you are uh, up and running, of course, in order to set up these add-ons, don't you worry, the YouTube community does have you. Every single add-on has a creator that wanted to make money and made a video explaining exactly how to set up the add-on so that it's perfect for you thereby also making sure that everyone else forces you to get the add-on because someone made a video on it, making it more relevant, and so on and so forth. The more people that get the add-on, the more people need to watch the video, the more people will force other people to get the add-on because, you know, just installing a game and playing it is not enough. Um, so now that you have all of your add-ons, you might think, okay, Akalon, I'm ready. I I'm ready. I can go play now. No. Not so fast. 
not so fast. Uh, you want to get yourself something called Warcraft Logs if you don't have that already. Why do you want to have Warcraft Logs? Well, if you don't have Warcraft Logs and you wish to join a guild, they will ask you to link your logs. If you do not have logs, you will not get into the guild because, and here's where things get really, really cool in World of Warcraft. Do not think that they're going to look at your logs to see if you're actually following the tactics or if you're actually playing your class, they don't care. What they want to see is how high did you parse. So did you end up in the 90 percentile, 80 percentile, anything below that, you don't get into the guild. So basically get yourself Warcraft logs. If you're not good enough yet, don't get Warcraft logs. The last thing you need is bad logs. You won't get into a guild then, unless you want to go into a social guild, which is a whole different story. Social guilds on social despite what the name might suggest. Social guilds are simply guilds that is formed that have 500 people that never speak to each other. At least that's what every single experience I've had with uh, social guilds. You don't speak to anyone, but you are in the same guild. So, you know, you may say that you have 500 friends. It's basically like Facebook friends. That's what social guilds are for in World of Warcraft. Uh, more uh, to the point, so once you have your Warcraft logs, you might think, okay, Akalon, I'm ready. I've got all of this. I've downloaded everything. It took me about an hour, but now, now I can play the game. No, because now you need your, uh, I think it's called RIO score. You called your, you, you need your RIO score. You might think, but Akalon, I already have Warcraft logs. I already have a score. Yes, you have a raid score. Your raid score means nothing when it comes to dungeons. Because in order to get into dungeons, you need an, uh, an uh, a Ryo score, or whatever the fuck it's called. There's so many different words, so many different things. But you need this, because you won't be able to do Mythic Plus dungeons with the big boys, unless you have a very high score that proves that you're not a fucking moron. Raider IO, that's the one. Thank you very much. Uh, why do you need this? Well, in order to do good Mythic Plus, you need a good Raider IO score. In order to get a good Raider IO score, you need to do good and high Mythic Plus. But because you can't get into the good and high Mythic Pluses because you don't have a good Raider IO score, you can't get a good Raider IO score because, you know, you, 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 you don't have a good Raider IO score. So navigating that, that's your fucking problem. I can't give you advice there. But basically what I can tell you is good luck. It's going to take a couple of months, maybe a year. You're going to have to figure out how to get people stupid enough to actually help you get a good Raider IO score so that you can get into the good groups with Raider IO. If you think, but Akalon, that won't matter. I just won't join those groups. <laughs> All groups, check your Raider IO. The website has a nifty little add-on that you have in the game. So when they hover over your name, they see what your score is. So even if you thought that, ah, I just won't have it right? And no one will even know. They'll know. Every single website that intrudes and destroys the gameplay of World of Warcraft has an add-on in the game to make sure that you're using the right stuff and that everyone else can see that you're using the right stuff. Um, now, uh, you've gone, all, gone through all of that. You have the websites. You have all the add-ons. Now you can go and you can play. Now, of course, you're going to level. Uh, don't worry about the story. You won't know what the fuck it's about because the game is going to start you in Battle for Azeroth. Battle for Azeroth is not the beginning of World of Warcraft. Contrary to popular belief, it is nowhere near the beginning of World of Warcraft. In fact, it is more towards the end of World of Warcraft than it is towards the beginning of World of Warcraft. But you don't have to worry about that because the story of World of Warcraft doesn't actually matter. You're going to meet people that you don't know, someone like Jaina, for example. You want to have a clue who she is, but she is important. She's going to call you champion. Don't worry about it. You are the champion. Even though you haven't done anything yet, you are the champion. So just go with it. Uh, you'll eventually become the champion, or maybe we'll see. Uh, you'll get through BFA, and then you'll get sent to the Shadowlands. The Shadowlands is also not the beginning of World of Warcraft, but again, you don't have to worry about it because you are now in the, in the realms of death, so technically you are kind of at the end of, well, the life cycle, but not at the end of World of Warcraft because there is another expansion coming, but this does not matter. You're going to play through Shadowlands, and then you're going to start your dungeon journey. But before you can start your dungeon journey, you first have to join a Covenant. 
once you've joined your covenant, and by the way, the covenant is not a choice thing, it is a power thing. So you can't just choose any covenant you want. Maybe you saw the Bastion guys and you thought, this is really cool, I want to be an angel, doesn't fucking matter. Because if you are playing a class that Bastion is not actually the base for, fuck you, you're not playing Bastion, you're going with whatever other one it is. Maybe you hated the Necrolords, but the Necrolords might be the base for you, so you're going to join the Necrolords. You might think, but Akalon, I don't want to, I'll be Bastion. Well, you're not going to get into groups, you're not going to get into dungeons, you're not going to get into guilds, because every group, every Every dungeon, every guild is going to say, wait, why are you Bastion when you should be Necrolord? Go change your covenant, come back in a few months once you've done so. So make the choice from the beginning that isn't the choice, but is the choice. You can tell yourself that it is a choice because technically you did decide to go Necrolords, even though the game said that you should go Necrolords. It is all about choice. That is what they told us when they advertised the game. It is all about your choices. All right. So now you have your covenant and you think you are ready. No, not so fast. You have to level up your covenant. Once you've leveled it up, it is kind of easy now because they do have a shit ton of catcher mechanics and you have collected all of your conduits. Your conduits, by the way, is borrowed power. It's going to go away at the end of the expansion, but you still need it now because all of your power for this expansion is actually in the conduits. Not all of it, 50% of it, because the other 50% is in Torghast. You're going to get to Torghast. You want to? You may ask, what is Torghast? Torghast is the place that you're going to farm literally every single week for Soul Ash. You might ask, what is Soul Ash? Soul Ash is another thing that you need. You get the Soul Ash, you get the Legendaries. Once you have the Legendaries, now you have to upgrade the Legendaries. You have to keep doing Torghast so that you can upgrade the Legendaries. Now that you have the top Legendaries and you have all of the Conduits, now, my child, you are ready for Dungeons. By the time you've reached the Dungeon stage, the next expansion will be over and all of the work that you've done up until now is for naught. So, good luck! Enjoy World of Warcraft. Download it at www.worldofwarcraft.com. I believe that is where you get it. And also, tell Blizzard that I sent you. You're welcome. There you go. That is a quick guide to playing World of Warcraft.